Hello guys, welcome to Bond Tech. Today I want to continue from our previous video which I showed how to create transition superstructure of the section. So today I want to go straight into doing the roof members and all that. So let's go straight to it. So first of all, I'm going to annotate, click this button, mask. I have to cover this place so that I can work on it. So with that, click on masking region. You draw around the area you don't need as you speak lines there you don't need to be shown okay Okay, so once you have a closed edge finish or have a loose end, where do I have that? Okay. Oh, I have double lines there. Okay, so as you can see, I've covered that area where I want to create my roof members. So what I do, go to detail line, as you can see, you can actually create your own type of line or whatever you want to do. So to do that, I go to manage uh, additional settings, lines, click here, I create a new line, call it a timber, whichever one you want to call it. Okay. So maybe it has one, make it a little bit brownish like a wood. Okay. That's a brownish red, something like this. Okay. Right, that's all. So go back to the state line, modify, and come and choose wood. Okay. Whichever way you like creating your Roof members, let's say 150 for my tie beam. So, whatever way you like representing your wood, let's say 75, okay. Mm, let's 50, let's make that 50 mm, okay. I prefer for this kind of roof I prefer working on one part then another let's make it um, hundred okay okay let's go back to this let's say seventy five seventy five okay Okay, whichever way you like representing your roof members, for those of you who use AutoCAD, it's just the same procedure as this. A little bit easier, or should I say much easier to create. That makes my work faster. Right. This is looking good. Okay. Okay. You just have need to have a very good knowledge of using trim and extend in Revit because unlike AutoCAD, trim and extend are together. So can extend this here. A mirror, use this mirror. You know, there are two types of mirrors mirror, mirror this. Okay. 
okay if you also want to represent your what is it called um the lines like to represent that okay okay let's offset that by 900 I'm just copy multiple remember multiple okay copy sorry this as you can see, voila, you have it. I add the wall plates here. Let's use which whatever method you like using to create your roof section. this okay so the good so here copy text whichever one please look at my video on room and create this text by room and So let's use room to create this. I'll load. Let's load room tags. to show you sorry how you can make your work easy by not typing in the text in on the section so if you have created your rooms and on the floor plan if you want the text to appear in your section you go to annotate tag or room tags and just apply so you can see the text appearing on the section so whatever size or type of room you used on your floor plan to appear on wherever the section called to in the building that is visible for the section so here guys as you can see it's easy to create this and if you want to get the text for your specifications you can do that clicking this down so much let's change that okay okay i think that's too much okay get it So I'll type on quit floor three hundred sorry three hundred and add core 
and so on and so forth. Same thing for here. You can call this out your roof section and all that. Whatever you like to type, whatever you like to specify for your section and for your for your roof and for your foundation. So here guys, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe our page for more. Thank you.